Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we take a look at the English Premier League game between Aston Villa and Burnley from Villa Park. Aston Villa making a couple of changes from the last away defeat at Old Trafford. Martinez is on goal, Konsa on the right, Carlos and Lengle as the centre-backs. Marino comes in the left wing today. Bailey, John Megan, Douglas Lewis and Ramsey are in the midfield with Deabi coming back in the squad. And birthday boy Oli Watkins who turns 28 today is the striker for Aston Villa. For Burnley, James Trafford is on goal, Vitino on right, David O'Shea and Bayer are the centre-backs, Teller on the left wing, Odebert, Brownhill, Burge and Goodmundson in the midfield with a pacey Foster and Abdoni leading the Burnley attack. They could only muster five goals between them this season so far. First half, 100 top division game between the two so far. Aston Villa have excelled under Unai Emre this season. However, they could not hold on to their 2-0 lead at Old Trafford and eventually lost the game against Manchester United 3-2. Burnley will take the encouragement with the way Sheffield United took a point from Villa Park last time. Aston Villa has to start explosive today at home. They need to come back after the away defeat at Old Trafford. Foster had scored for Burnley twice when they lost at home 1-3 to Aston Villa last time during August 23. Vincent Company's Burnley has the second youngest squad behind Chelsea in the English Premier League. They're looking better since that last defeat. It's a huge transition for them from the league to the Premier League today. Burnley have struggled in their season since promotion to the Premier League this season. They need to find their place. Goal has been a big problem this season. They should not concede early on. They need to take points if they have to avoid relegation straight away in the first season after promotion to the English Premier League. 13th minute, a first time shot coming from Ollie Watkins there. Trafford makes an excellent save. He's been brilliant this season. Aston will look composed in the ball position. They are confident. Wide players in Leon Bailey and Marino making a lot of space between them, providing that width that Villa needs in the first half. Burnley are in a very good shape, good formation, not allowing Aston Villa to create chances in the midfield. They are on to players quickly. The very good tactic used by Burnley away from home, not allowing the home team much opportunities early on in the first half. Home team are in the ascendance at the Villa Park, 20th minute. They're making all the moves, fans behind their team to open the scoreline. Burnley at the same time using their pace with the young Odebert and Goodmundson when they get a chance to get into the Aston Villa half. 24th minute, Taylor is booked for a rash challenge on Diaby, a free kick right outside the danger area for Aston Villa. But for uh, nothing comes out of that there for Aston Villa, a very poor kick there taken by Douglas Lewis, resulting in a very good counter-attack, Langley beaten and the cutback from Burnley just missing, otherwise would have been dangerous there for Aston Villa. Burnley is capable of creating opportunities that can hurt Aston Villa at home and they've done it in the past as well. 28th minute, it's an excellent finish this time by Leon Bailey. Goals recently against Burnmouth and the winner against Manchester City. Watkins keeps composure, finds Bailey, his first touch is very good and the shot is very well into the top corner, beats James Trafford. Aston Villa are in front 1-0. 15 continuous home league wins before that Sheffield United got draw at Villa Park. That's how they've been consistent this season, Aston Villa. 31st minute, immediately Burnley are coming with the leveller. Less than two minutes after Aston Villa took lead, very poor defending there from Aston Villa. It's too easy there for Burnley, an easy volley coming down from Amdowney. 2 minutes 12 seconds behind these two goals. It's 1-1 at Villa Park. Unai Umri will be furious with the way they've conceded the goal. Really disappointing defending there. They've had 60% of ball possession but they're not able to defend the lead for more than 2 minutes. 36th minute. Aston Villa is again on the attack. They lose the ball. They're so exposed to the back. Foster was allowed so much space, he beats Martinez for the goal, VAR is checked and he is judged offside there. 
the very first minute there Aston Villa go down Burnley looks so dangerous on counter-attack because of the exposure at the back there 42nd minute Moussa Diaby puts Aston Villa back in lead he scored in Turf Moor and now he scores again in Villa Park Watkins is brilliant keeping the ball goes into the box it's all about him he made that goal all credit goes to Watkins there. His play and creativity is just brilliant. An easy tap in there for Diaby to put Aston Villa back on lead there. We are checked again. Goal this time has been given. It's 2-1 for Aston Villa at Villa Park. Seven minutes added on. Aston Villa slowed the game since second goal, not allowing Burnley to create those chances. It's very entertaining at Villa Park. They've dominated the first half ball possession. Aston Villa taken the lead. Burnley came back with a leveler. They took the lead. We are not allowed the goal. <clears throat> Aston Villa took the lead again. And that's how it has ended the first half. Aston Villa 2, Burnley 1. <clears throat> Second half, Burnley continue with being dangerous when they get a chance. Foster as a striker for Burnley, just excellent when he's one on one. He nearly gets another one there. He's got the pace. He's the main danger man there for Aston Villa. Burnley's able to find him. They've started the second half brilliantly. They went on to get the ball. They want to play good football and they're giving a good response after going down 1 2 in the first half. 52nd minute, 56th minute rather, Burge booked again, this time for a foul on Douglas Lewis. Burnley down to 10 players, their fourth red card in the English Premier League this season. Only uh, Spurs and Liverpool have seen more. Now it seems more difficult for Burnley to get back into the game again. 10 men and they're down to one as well. Aaron Ramsey, brother of Jacob Ramsey, comes into the uh, Burnley's side, he comes on for Abdowney in the midfield. 65th minute, Jacob Ramsey misses to hit the target. A very good opportunity there. A sitter missed by Aston Villa to take a two-goal cushion and close the door for <coughs> any Burnley comeback. 71st minute, a brilliant finish there. They're down to 10 men and Burnley still make a comeback. They are level. Foster with an excellent finish with his right foot. He's onside. He's so strong. He's been the best player by a long mile. A real stunner. We are checked. Goal given. It is 2-2 at Villa Park. Really poor there from Aston Villa with all the chances going by. Burnley make a brilliant recovery. Come back a magnificent finish there from Foster. Double change coming for Burnley. Mike Presser and Connor Roberts comes on for Odebert and Goodmanson. They're now playing 4-4-1 formation. <clears throat> with Tresser and Roberts providing support up front as well. Just 15 more minutes left at Villa Park. Aston Villa have missed quite a few opportunities so far against Burnley in this game. They're not able to capitalize. They are missing opportunities and they did same against Sheffield United. The match ended at 1-1 draw as well. <clears throat> Lex Moreno on the left for Aston Villa has been a force to reckon with today, providing good crosses all the width on the left side. He's been excellent going forward, but Aston Villa unable to capitalize on the chances created and take the lead at Villa Park yet. Aston Villa playing a high back line, living dangerously at the back there. Burnley still looking for the third goal. Foster and now Roberts are moving forward and looking for an opportunity there for the third goal. 87th minute, a penalty given there, a slight nick there from Aaron Ramsey on Duran in the penalty area. Douglas Lewis steps forward. He scored three goals already this season from penalty. A big moment in the season, a big moment in the English Premier League as well. The ball hits the bar and ends up straight in the back of the net. A very fortunate goal there for Aston Villa. They are ahead. A huge moment in the season for Aston Villa. A late show again from Aston Villa. 
nine minutes added there for second half Burnley are unfortunate to concede a penalty at this stage of the game but that is how cruel the game of football can be they had so much in the game a draw for Burnley and a point would have been a decent and a good result for them away from home it has not been convincing from Aston Villa at all, but they've shown the character, their resilience, despite missing chances. They still fought and are leading again at Villa Park 3-2 with minutes remaining for the final whistle there. An accelerating game, touch on Vincent Company and his, uh, uh, and his team there. It's been tough for them. Aston Villa take lead, Burnley level. They again come back and take lead. Burnley still come back and level the game. A penalty is needed for Aston Villa to take all the three points from Villa Park today. Aston Villa continue the dominance at home with this win. Aston Villa move to second as of today with 42 points and with 20 games played level with Liverpool who played one game less. Burnley languishing in 19th place with 11 points and from 20 games there. Well, that's it from my side. Please provide your comments. Subscribe to my channel for more such reviews. Until next time, take care.